today we're going to introduce Bollywood style wedding dresses for women. In recent years, international marriage has become more popular in Taiwan. There are many people from Pakistan, India, and that, that area marrying Taiwanese. And hence, they will bring in traditions from their country. We are honored to have this wedding dress today to demonstrate. So, I am going to be the model today to show you how the dress looks like. I'm Taiwanese. Yes, I'm Taiwanese. So, let's go. Our dancing is. I am Austin. Today, I want to talk about one of the very traditional red color of Indian wedding dress. And this wedding dress is one of the most famous wedding dresses worn by the Indian women most of the times. And the outfit of it comprises of two parts, a jubada and, and a dress. As you can see, the, the, this kind of dress, this kind of red colored dress, usually touch the floor in order to make the bride look prettier. And next, I want to talk about the popularity. This kind of wedding, red wedding dress has become popular as an attire amongst Indian women in North India during the 10th century. And it has evolved through fine craftsmanship with the arrivals during 12th century to 18th century. And next, I want to talk about when to wear this dress, this wedding red dress. So in Taiwan, that this kind of red wedding dress is mainly worn by the Indian women to very special events such as the weddings. And sometimes it can be worn all year long thanks to the option of variability fabric and also thanks to climatic suitability. Right, so I have some questions I want to ask you about this wedding dress. Okay. How long does it take for you to do the nails? Um, it took me one hour to do this makeup, but for actual weddings, it might take longer, maybe one to one hour to one and a half, or even two hours, because they might also want to do hair. Oh wow, that's a long time. So, uh, will, you, will you suggest others to wear this wedding dress for more than wedding? Absolutely. If, if somebody wants to try this in their wedding, it's really nice and it's actually more affordable than traditional wedding dresses. Hey, I want to ask you about so where do you get this wedding dress? I borrowed it from a friend. She married a second generation Pakistani in Taiwan. So her father-in-law brought this from Pakistan. The jewelry is for the forehead. It is fixed with a hook and a hair clip. The gemstone is naturally hang on the forehead. There are two types of earrings, and this one has a two part. One hook is on the ear. And another hook is holding on the hair. And there's common um, banquet, temple celebrations, and brides. This one is headpiece. And there is a hook. It can hang on the head. And its hook is similar earrings hook. In recent years, with the trend of Indian Bollywood movies, the global pop culture has also been affected. Popular magazines and social media have begun to introduce Indian style jewelry. Indian jewelry is mysterious and gorgeous compared to Taiwanese bridal jewelry. 
Taiwan prefers simpler and smaller jewelry. In terms of color, Taiwan is similar to Western countries, which prefers silver or white color. China is known as Mindy. Uh, it has spread through the world, making a lasting impression with its deep color and integral designs. A henna tattoo is made with dye from the henna plant. A tattoo is often made with a specific amount of henna powder mixed with other ingredients, such as water or tea. The pass is placed in a small piping bag and then piped on the skin. In India, Hindu and Muslim women used to make motif and tattoos on hands and foot on occasions like weddings and engagements. In wedding ceremonies, there is one day solely dedicated for adorning the bride and groom in Mandy. In Taiwan, when women do their makeup for their wedding, usually they like to do it naturally and subtle. However, in Indian culture, they like to do exaggerated makeup. And the reason for this makeup being more exaggerated is to enhance their beautiful features. In order to achieve this, they will use darker eyeshadow colors and they tend to have a really dark and long wing eyeliner to make their eyes look even bigger. And they also like to have really really long eyelashes to look more feminine. Also, with all the jewelry they wear, they definitely need a more exaggerated makeup to balance it out. That's our presentation today, and we hope that you learned a lot about Indian style marriage, Indian style wedding dresses, and that maybe in the future when you're getting married, you consider this style in your wedding. Bye. See you Bye. next time.